Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2020 general reading. We're looking at the first half of December, so from the 1st to the 15th. This reading is for the Earth sign of Virgo. Welcome everyone, I hope you're all well. As we continue to move into the holiday season, thanks for taking the time to tune in and watch this video, uh, for hitting that like button and that subscribe button and all that you do in support of this channel. Very welcome and appreciated. So this reading, <coughs> excuse me, is for the Earth sign of Virgo uh, for the first two weeks of December. So that's if your sun is in Virgo, uh, your moon, your rising, your Venus, or if you're cross-watching for a Virgo as well. It's all relevant, uh, but because it's a general reading, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. So watch all of your signs if you know them uh, for additional insight and perspective. If any of the readings do resonate with you and you'd like to reach out and take a deeper look at something, uh, personal reading for yourself or as a gift for friends, family, and loved ones. They make great gifts, especially during the holiday seasons. Very convenient. You don't have to leave your house to either uh, give them or receive them. So if you're interested in any of that for yourself or anyone else, you can click on the description link below. You'll see some contact details, my email address, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. Feel free to email me directly. I can usually respond within the same day. I do offer a wide variety of readings. And setting up personal readings is done fairly timely. Uh, as I do readings full time, it's all that I'm that I do. So I'm pretty diligent at working with people's schedules and my own. So email me if you're interested. I also offer, which is particularly popular this time of year, six and twelve month overviews, which take a look at what's coming, uh, kind of a peek ahead at what's coming which a lot of people like to do as we're transitioning out of an old year and into a new one. So food for thought. All right, Capricorn, sorry, not Capricorn, Virgo. Virgo, let's see what the first two weeks of December 2020 have in store for you. I am using <coughs> Tarot Dreams and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay. Virgo, we begin with the Fool, followed by the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, followed by the Empress, High Priestess, followed by the Page of Wands, and from the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Coins, as overall energy and focus for the first two weeks of December. Well, a lot of feminine energy, maternal, nurturing energy. We have three distinctly feminine cards. We have the Empress, who is the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot, very loving, very nurturing, very maternal fertility. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, which is the Queen of Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. We have the High Priestess as well. And we have two pages. Um, and the fool. <laughs> so I mean this could be, you know, uh, something to do with children uh, as well, um, especially for those of you who are mothers uh, or fathers as well uh, too. Um, the overall energy is taking a look at what you have invested in something or someone, particularly if it's, you know, about investing in your children's life or future or education, etc. This is a card of taking a look at what you've invested in a crop you've been working on growing since you planted it as a seed. Um, it's now in at least one of the harvest periods. You've got a nice uh, crop of fruit there. It's not fully achieved. I mean, it's not a 10. 10s represent cycle achievement uh, or fulfillment. We have the seven of coins here, which is reflection, assessing things, motives. Look at the effort you've put into something. Should you continue? Should you harvest it? now? Um, should you plant a different crop? You know, it's about it's about assessing, kind of taking inventory and taking stock and making plans for the future based on that or changes 
um, to uh, maybe previously established plan um, towards the future because what you want is the ten of coins right so definitely gonna have to clarify here we have the fool and the page of swords which could be one in the same energy I mean pages represent you know young people uh, spontaneous impulsive they have the dreams the ideas but not the experience or wisdom or tools in which to enact it yet the page of swords is you have the page of wands here the classic messenger pages can represent young people or children they can represent messages messengers um, they usually represent you know being at the introductory fresh start of a new path page of swords is is the page of air um, who governs the mental you know air governs our, our, our mental energy perspectives ideas so the page of swords can be about doing research getting information it could represent an air sign child Aquarius Gemini Libra Sun Moon or rising and that clarifies the fool I mean it could be you know on a simplistic level a child acting like the fool but that's what children do especially young children the fool is about the beginning of a brand new journey the fool is what starts the whole tarot journey it's why he has the zero on the top of his card getting ready to start a brand new journey you've never been there before um, maybe it's more about the journey itself than the actual destination because the fool is a trailblazer he doesn't walk paths he's already walked before so it's about stepping off the beaten path trying something new doing something different might be something viewed as a bit risky perhaps you uh, are manifesting the energy of the page of swords uh, Virgo you know maybe you're doing research and maybe it is about a particular child maybe it's your child or doing some research about you know a new project or a new start or a new direction um, with the overall energy looking at what you've invested in, invested in something already and looking ahead at the future if you need to make changes this could be you know looking doing research talking to people about um, you know choices of college institutions new projects a new you know a new course of education um, getting them involved in something else you know or something new that also kind of aids and points in the direction of their future for those of you for whom this is about children um, and it may just and for some of you the pages may not represent children um, although they can represent energy that's a bit on the immature side if there's many of them in a reading it might just be that you're considering whether or not you have enough stability and security maybe financial and material issues to start something new or to invest in something new whether that's something new for yourself or for a child or um, you know starting something a new project or investing in a business or something of that sort we have the Queen of Wands and the Empress very maternal energy here the Queen of Wands is a particularly fiery individual, but she knows how to get things done. She knows how to manifest things. She's a very action-oriented uh, individual, very charismatic. And then the Empress clarifies her, which is maternal energy, fertility energy. It's also the energy that represents the time is right and the season is right to begin to plant seeds to manifest something. For some of you, it might be literal fertility issues. It might be that you are doing research and exploring other options to see about getting pregnant or, you know, some fertility options as well. Some of you, a mother might be relevant. If you are not a mother and that's not around that for you, it might be that it's your mother or a maternal figure that's kind of relevant here. You may be taking a look at making changes in an elderly parent or for an elderly parent or uh, maybe you're considering whether or not it would be a good idea to move them um, to you or somewhere else, you know, etc. We have the Priestess with the Page of Wands. Uh, page of Wands, the Page of Wands out of all of the pages is the traditional, in the brighter weight anyway, in the traditional um, tarot, the Page of Wands is the most traditional messenger, the one who originally carries messages because he's the fastest of all of them. He's a great runner. Um, but it can also represent being at an introductory path uh, being at the beginning of a new path, uh, exciting, enthusiastic, momentum in your favor, a clean slate. The High Priestess is about trusting your intuition, opening up to your intuition, which is your connection to the divine, to see where you feel you're really being pulled or where you feel you're being led, what is really the right thing to do. Some people call their intuition their higher self or their gut instinct, but it's what leads us, even if it kind of maybe goes against what other people are saying. So let's clarify here. Because ultimately, 
while the details and specifics of what this is, of course, being a general reading, is going to vary, the energy fundamentally remains the same. The overall energy is about taking a look at what you have invested in someone or something and, and seeing if that makes a difference or helps you make a decision about investing in or starting or doing something different or new or in a different or new way. So, let's clarify the Seven of Coins. I'm just going to go ahead and clarify everything I want to clarify. Clarify the Seven of Coins. The Hierophants, Convention, the Establishment, Institutions. Uh, maybe you're taking a look at what you at your literal investments. You know, this could be like real estate or banking. You know, taking a look at the money you have. Judgment is right behind that. So being at a crossroads where whatever decision you make could ultimately significantly and irrevocably alter a particular life path. You know, maybe you're thinking about... It's like you're thinking about either heading in a completely new direction or maybe a different direction, and you're wondering if you have enough resources to do it or you're looking at your resources and asking yourself if you have enough to do this or invest in this sort of new thing clarify the fool you may be also considering you know looking at your savings or investments and some of you might be thinking about maybe uh, applying for a loan or something of that something like that clarify the fool Page of Wands. So we have the Page of Wands twice. Very spontaneous, impulsive energy. Um, also represents kind of being at an introductory beginning. Messages. Let me, let me finish clarifying so I can put this together. Clarify the Page of Swords, who is the researcher, sometimes the spy, but what do spies really do? They're all about gathering information, right? They're doing research, they're trying to gather information. <laughs> page of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords. Definitely doing your due diligence about whatever this new beginning is. I mean, We've got three pages showing here. I mean, for some of you who have children, it might be the children, young or adult, that comes to you and says, I want this, or there's this other thing, and look at what I can do, and can we do, you know, it could be that. Clarify the Queen of Wands. And I am, for some of you, getting a distinct exploring fertility options. I am getting that. It might be that some of these options are expensive, which I know they can be. So you may want to, you may be considering taking a look at your money, your savings, or maybe asking for a loan um, to try, you know, some new fertility options or procedures or something of that sort as well. Eight of Cups, sorry, the Knight of Cups, an offer, an opportunity. This is what clarifies the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Fire. Maybe somebody making an offer, an offer of love, support, encouragement, an offer to help, or someone's offered. There might be an offer or opportunity for a child to join something or join a group. Interesting. Clarify the Empress. It might be applying for your child to go to, to join an organization or a certain school or something of that sort. The Empress is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Wands, so working towards someone's future, working towards the future. 
thinking about perhaps you've received an offer an invitation to join or be a part investor in something for yourself or for some of you perhaps you've been invited or have the opportunity or the invitation to join or have your child join a certain group or school or apply you know something of that sort clarify the priestess there's an awful lot of I mean for some of you there's an awful lot of feminine and feminine maternal and child messages energy here the queen of pentacles clarifies the priestess so the high priestess the priestess here but the high priestess in other decks she's all about using her intuition to base her decisions and actions on this is so this is somebody who opens herself up which means that she listens far more than she talks or reveals the queen of pentacles is a very practical woman very resourceful capable practical hands-on Clarify the Page of Wands. The, you've got to be kidding me. The Queen of Swords clarifies the Page of Wands. Let me take a look at what we have here. We have one, two, three, one, two, three, four pages, two page of wand, but they're both repeated. You have two page of wands and two page of swords. You have the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands, the queen of swords, the empress, the high priestess. So much feminine energy, maternal energy, child energy, youthful energy as well, and contemplation. Is it, I mean, it almost looks like a group, a group of parents, a group of mothers and their kids. The queen of wands has made some kind of you know, this queen of fire, somebody who manifests like this very ambitious, very charismatic person. She might be a leader of some kind, the leader of a group, an institution, a school. There's been some kind of offer or opportunity uh, from her. Again, it might have something to do, for those of you who are parents, it might have something to do with your child or your child's future. Joining a group, joining an organization, uh, interviewing or applying for a certain school or, or even a job if your child is a little older than that. Um, something that something that is about planting working on planting seeds for the future of your child for some of you it might not be about a child or children although there's not, you know, we've got four pages here um, but it might be but they also represent you know being at the introductory phase of something you know starting off on a new course of learning or education or something of that sort you might have the opportunity just you yourself to start something new it might be a bit risky and um, because if that's the case having this many pages represents you know being a bit immature a bit too childlike which means you're not seeing things exactly on a realistic level, especially if it has something to do with investing or, you know, it's like, come and join us doing this and contribute because it'll turn out to be this wonderful thing. And it sounds really good, but the energy around that with all these pages is it might be a little too idealistic. And with the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles here, Virgo, this is about trusting your intuition to do the thing that is the most practical sort of thing. And also practical in terms of the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Earth. So she's all about being comfortable. She's worked hard to maintain, to get and maintain that stability, and she's not about to lose it. She's smarter than that. She knows how to navigate this. She's pretty practical and capable in the day-to-day -day structure, the physical world we live in, money, finance, property, all that kind of stuff. So it's about using your intuition to do the most practical thing too. Because if it's not about moms and kids and their futures, then this is about, you know, maybe being offered to join a women's group or join an investment, you know, something that, you know, sounds really good, but it might be a little too idealistic here. I, I'm really curious. Let me go back to the Tarot of Dreams and Let me see, what is the root? I mean, a general reading too, so the root's going to vary, but 
Let me see if we can get just a little more clarification or specifics on this. Again, it might be, you know, kids, for some of you, it's definitely moms, and it might be fertility issues. In regards to that, it might be a bit risky and expensive. For your kid, kid's education or joining some kind of elite thing, your kid's joining some kind of elite thing. I don't know, it might just be, you might feel, you might feel pressured into doing it because of competitive energy, you know, kids can be competitive, but their parents can be even more competitive about their kids and with each other. You know, it might be joining a women's group that's just got a lot of competitive, maybe immature energy. The Five of Wands, competition, petty dramas and conflicts is behind that. Seven of Cups. This is a card of dreaminess, being too idealistic. Well, it's considering multiple options, but only focusing on um, the most perfect outcome, the most perfect possibility, um, rather than the realistic path to trying to achieve any of these options, which is a whole nother story, because Cups is governed by the element of water. It's just emotional, dreamy energy. We all need to dream. We all need to consider multiple options and the best of what something might be. But it takes a lot of realistic effort and work and challenges to manifest our dreams. Uh, and the Seven of Cups is often about having your head in the sky and thinking only of the most perfect outcome and not really focusing on what the path to getting there might be like. Conflict, petty drama, conflict, competition here. Um, yeah, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really clarify for me that the reading's not about me, um, although usually it's somewhat clear. There's all kinds of stories going on here. So multiple, con multi considering multiple options because you feel like you're in competition. And what that is, of course it could vary. It could be with fertility issues, you know, you want to have a baby and everybody else is and you're not and you're feeling like, you know, it's it can be really a very difficult to be in the middle of that struggle or you know other parents and their kids and you're looking at yours going yeah I feel like I need to keep up with or my kids need to do the same as you know kind of all of that stuff there's some kind of central offer or opportunity here so let's just pull one or two advice cards for Virgo what's the best way to best thing to do or the best way to navigate through this relatively short period of time, the first two weeks of December. Wow. It's like so many females and so many kids. I don't know if I've ever seen this just in one spread. Four pages, three queens, two other female energies. The Hanging Man. You might decide to act on this later but right now spirit is saying hold back you things are still playing out and you may not have all the information just yet the queen of coins so we have yet another queen another earth sign queen of pentacles queen of coins same thing you need to hold back why because this is about being practical earthly and grounded and realistic um, especially when it comes to holding on to anything that you're being asked to invest in a financial or material way. So, yeah, things are still playing out. You may not have all the information you need, so just hold off on making decisions about this um, for the time being. Very interesting reading, <laughs> Virgo. Uh, any of you who are comfortable, please let me know if this resonated with you and how this resonated with you. Very interesting reading. All right, Virgo, that is your, oh, look at my hair, that is your reading for uh, the first two weeks of December. I hope that it was uh, at least not too confusing, helpful to you. Um, if you would like to reach out and take a deeper look at something, uh, get some information on a personal reading for yourself or maybe as a gift for someone else, and there's also those uh, overviews as well, which are uh, really great to do this time of year. Anyway, click on the description link below for more information and my email address. Feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you and to hear from you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the mid-month December readings. Until then, stay safe, stay well, be blessed, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.